authorities, the work landscape evolves rapidly with this pandemic. Some employers are veering away from traditional requirements like college degrees. Instead, firms are putting a premium on skills. It's the demand for what a global tech giant calls new collar jobs. IBM coined that term to show that good talent is not just about diplomas, but also practical experience. We go above and beyond the headlines to the president and country general manager of IBM Philippines, Eileen Hudan Hiao. Eileen, thank you very much for um, agreeing to this interview. Can we begin with this? When you were named uh, IBM Philippines country manager in July 2018, uh, and that's just been a little over two years now, did you ever imagine that you would have to reimagine IBM in a pandemic such as this? No, not at all, not at all, Pia. So uh, it was really uh, uh, unimaginable at that time, uh, really for, uh, I felt like a local, you know, Filipina and being homegrown uh, CGM for a very large company to really be able to lead uh, the, the future for IBM Philippines you know, across thousands of our employees. So it, it, it became a model actually for many mm -hmm. others. And of course now leading through the crisis for pandemic. Mm -hmm. And Eileen, when March 2020 came around and uh, the, uh, the pandemic happened, the quarantine was imposed, uh, that would change our world so drastically. How did you reimagine IBM um, by coming you know, um, to the forefront with this idea and program that there is a need to fill what you call new collar jobs? What is that? You know, ano tong new collar jobs? Because familiar naman tayo sa terms blue collar, white collar, no? Any new collar jobs? And what is IBM so, going to do about that? Yeah, so new collar jobs is a, is a term that our chairman uh, at that time, Chairman Jimmy, had coined really to reflect uh, the, 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 the term for those in the digital economy. It's really in the middle of the blue and the white collar, but in the digital economy, it requires a new set of skills like for cloud computing, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity. You know? So think about it like, a middle level uh, set of skills and uh, it's really about skills and not just degrees that's what we mean by new caller mm -hmm. okay and of course yeah you have a tie up with a university or is it a college and what exactly are you offering so uh, we launched a program called the pathways to technology for early college high school uh, that is p-tech for short it is really a program to drive uh, this new skills for the new collar jobs, prepare us for the future, uh, really expose them. It's a public-private partnership. Think about it uh, for, in this case, our first implementation in January 2019 in the Philippines. We're the 10th country globally to uh, deploy this. It was with uh, the Gig City University and partnership with the LGU of the Gig, uh, really to expose them with all these new skills uh, for the future, including soft skills like uh, uh, complex problem solving, critical design thinking, uh, uh, um, and uh, cybersecurity, and it's both for students and learners. No? So we now have, we plan for it for about only 40 to 80 students. Uh, that's for grades uh, uh, 10 uh, to uh, no, 11 and 12 uh, for four-year program. Uh, we now have 170 cohort uh, in the cohort. Uh, that's already uh, on our second year. Uh, we will continue to expand that and realizing that now with the pandemic, they cannot actually physically always go to the school. We use the same content for the PTEC global program of IBM and we expanded it to open PTEC so that mm -hmm. the public, anybody can actually use okay. it and actually use it even on a mobile phone. Well, that's great. Okay, that's great. One last brief question and a brief uh, response from you, Eileen. What do you mean by skills are more important than seat time? Seat spelled S-E-A-T, Shera Echo Alpha Tango. Yeah, so really it's skills. So uh, sometimes we just have the degrees and you know we think we can, we can just take a, a seat, say in call center and all that. But really in the digital economy, they look for uh, what are your special skills to drive, say, an application, serve a client, and all that? It's really a combination of hard skills and soft skills, uh, and it's not really just learning the subjects. You need to be exposed, exposed to the workplace, uh, learning, and uh, really understand what the bank looks like, a branch looks like, uh, you know, a, a command center. So 
all of this combined really will be skills for you to be ready for jobs uh, immediately soon after you, you graduate. So we give them exposure to the mentors as well. Uh, so it's not just taking a seat in the office that necessarily gives you a very good job in the digital economy. So really think about preparing us for the okay. future. All right, Eileen Hudan Yao, IBM Philippines Country Manager, thank you very much for joining us this evening.